Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. As a YouTube content creator, the most important thing you need to learn is video editing. And because of that, I did create an entire series on how to use the free and open source video editor, OpenShot. If you haven't seen that, I will leave that in the description area below. And I really feel this is one of the best options if you're just starting out. And so I have moved over though to using Caden Live. I've been using it for almost two years now. And I really feel that if you want to go beyond just basic video editing and you want to get up to more like medium and even some advanced stuff, then Caden Live is an awesome uh, video editor to use. Um, and it's gotten so much better since I first used it. And so today I'm going to give you a high level overview of Caden Live and how to install it. And then as I do more video in the series, it'll be very similar to my open shot series where I show you how I use Caden Live to do all my video editing. Now I will say that I am not an expert at Caden Live. I still am learning how to use it, even though I've been using it for two years now. I spend most of my time creating content and most of my content is really simple and quick, okay? And so I'm, I don't spend too much time at all in terms of you know making it look really professional. So I just wanna put that out there. And so the first thing you wanna do obviously is to actually install Caden Live. You have a few options. If you are on Linux Mint, uh, this is the easiest option in my opinion. Just go to your software manager and uh, just go to Flatpak, okay? I would not install Caden Live from the main area because it is older and uh, Flatpak is much better because it does update, okay, to the newer version. And so here's Caden Live and it is already on the latest version, um, at least not the non-beta version. This is the one I'm using, 18.08. And so if I go here to my version of Caden Live, it is 18.08. Uh, and this is stable and it works. And if you did want the more bleeding edge stuff, you could go to their website, cadenlive.org. Um, and here you can't download it for these distros yet. If you wanna get the DEB or Debian file, uh, you can download the app image. Snap is not available. And obviously Flatpak is already available if you are using the most recent version of Linux Mint and you do uh, have the software manager right here. And this is the way that I recommend that you actually install it. Uh, and it's also available in Windows as well. And so if you are running Windows, I have it right here in Windows. It is a newer version, uh, but it is a beta 18.12. So this does crash. However, if you are somebody who uses Windows or even Mac, it's available on Mac as well. Uh, you can follow along with this because it pretty much works the same. Okay, so for all the Windows users out there. But I will put a disclaimer that I am doing everything in Linux. And so if you had any problems in Windows, that's not something that I could help you with there because that's not where I use the software. So let's go ahead and get a really quick tour on Caden Live. And so I. I will be going over more details as we go along, uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what I use uh, Caden Live for and the main features that I have. And so the overall uh, look and feel, it's very similar to other video editors. You have your main uh, project bin right here. So if you're adding clips, all of it would go here. Okay, so there's a lot of options, but normally you're just gonna be adding some type of video clip and that's what I have here. And down here is your actual project timeline. So the default is three video tracks, so you could add more by right clicking. There's two audio tracks here as well. And you just drop it down here. And then if you actually go to the clip properties, like for this clip, if you added multiple clips, then you could see more properties, but it shows you all the details of your actual clip. And so if you had an audio clip, uh, it would be audio related stuff here as well, but that's a really quick way for you to see that. And over here, you have your actual transitions and effects. So these are all the transitions and effects. Now I will say I wish this had you know, like graphic elements so then you could kind of see what the effect does. Uh, but you're kind of getting used to it. And uh, I don't use that many effects, at least not yet. But it's really simple uh, to use once you learn which ones work the best for you. And then down here we have the select tool, uh, razor tool, spacer tool. And you could do other things right here. I really don't use many of these, to be honest with you. Most of what I use is select and razor. Okay, so that's the main things that I use. And right here, this is obviously where you could preview your video. And what you could also do is you could pull it down. Okay, so it could be bigger and smaller. Whatever 
you start using it, it's like super tiny. And so it was really a pain for me, but I figured out just put your mouse slightly over here. And when you see those double arrows, you could have that. And you could also right click and you could put on different monitors as well. If you have multi monitors. And then as you go up here, most of this is self explanatory, but where I spend most of the time is on the project. I could add a title clip. So if I did something like this, here, show back them and, and I'll get into more detail whenever I do future videos. But here you could add like text and stuff, you know, you could overlay. So I'm going to cancel that. And other things you could do is if you go to this clip, you know, you select the clip and you go to clip, you could actually remove the audio. You could have video only, uh, audio only, and then you could have audio and video. So that's a really easy way to do that. It's a lot easier than doing that in open shot. And there's other things here, but like I said, it's just really self-explanatory. And uh, in future videos, I'll go over this in more detail if it is relevant. Okay. And uh, that is a very quick overview of Caden Live and how to install it. And so uh, just look forward to future videos in this series. I feel that this is an excellent video editor. And whenever I started using Caden Live a long time ago, this was not the best because it wasn't uh, the most stable, but nowadays it's been rock solid. You know, I mean, um, every now and then it might crash, but you know, it's not very common and you'll have that same problem even if you're using software like Adobe Premiere or, you know, or even Apple Final Cut Pro. So, uh, that is it for this initial episode. Look forward to, uh, more episodes on this series and hopefully you'll get as much value out of these Caden live series as uh, a lot of people have with my open shot series. And if you had any recommendations or improvements or things you wanted to see, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if it's something that I can create, then I'll do that as well. So thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you want to see my open shot series, check that out in the description area below. If you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.